Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to another edition of Juicing with Jay. Today, I'm gonna to be cooking a curry stew. This is a, a delicious meal. I've made this over and over again. And uh, those who have been to my house uh, while I've cooked this meal can vouch for, for this. So if you've been to my house and you've tasted this meal before, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. The only thing that you might not be able to find in the store is this oregano that comes straight from the garden. But if you know where I'm at, you know you can, you know, get this oregano or whatever. So just chop up some oregano. Just a little bit. And I'll start the show. Four potatoes cut into little small cubes. Four potatoes. This is a kolbacha squash. Kabacha, kabacha squash cut into little squares just like the potatoes. Nice little squares. Cilantro, one bunch of cilantro. One whole onion. One bell pepper. It doesn't matter the, the color. Two carrots. Alright, so if you missed it, we got onions, we got onions and uh, orange bell peppers, four potatoes and two carrots, cilantro, and the squash. So now that I've cut up everything that I've uh, needed to put into this curry, I'm gonna show you guys a few of the other ingredients. Two cans of coconut milk. Red curry. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Onion powder. <laughs> Lari seasoning, some pink Himalaya sea salt, and just some regular sea salt. Now, when it comes to the seasonings, it's pretty much on you how you want to put the additional seasoning. But the main ingredient, the main, the, the main uh, seasoning, the, the star of the show is gonna definitely be the curry. So. I add the other seasonings in there to just boost up the flavor. You could use whatever you want. But this, this right here, this is the main ingredient. So you wanna pour this on heavy, but everything else is just an addition to boost up the flavors of this. Over the ingredients one more time. So I have onions and bell pepper, orange bell pepper, 
Um, you can use any bell pepper that you want. I have some cilantro. Some kobasha squash, very delicious, kobasha squash. Four potatoes, four cut up potatoes, and some carrots, two carrots. And this is what the kobosha squash looks like, guys. Very delicious, my sister grew them this summer, but I got this from the Asian market, uh, Seafood City. Uh, very, 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 very delicious squash. Very delicious squash. And one whole habanero from the garden. All right. So you want to start off with some, uh, any olive oil or avocado oil. A nice generous amount. <laughs> then you want to add the potatoes and the carrots. When you add the potatoes and the carrots, you wanna start adding your curry. So you wanna start adding your seasonings at this point. You wanna start adding the seasonings. Don't be afraid of the curry. I prefer to use my old school wooden spoon. Start adding the curry. And we're just gonna brown these potatoes. You wanna start adding, adding the seasonings at this point. And it doesn't matter how much you put in because we still have a lot of additional items to put in. This is just to start the flavoring process. So for me, it's no measuring involved. It's just you kind of uh, a pinch of this and a pinch of that because you're gonna be adding seasoning throughout this uh, throughout this dish. So this is just the start of it. So you wanna lay it on there. You wanna put all the heavy stuff first. So what I mean by heavy stuff that is uh, harder to cook, you wanna put those in first. So you wanna give this a nice stir. Let it get a nice little cook on it. As you can see, it's starting to get that nice, beautiful curry look. The yellow curry is taking over. You wanna have this on high heat. So you're kinda sauteing, you're kinda sauteing the potatoes. Next, you wanna put the kibasha squash. and mix that around. So as you add the kibasha squash, you wanna add more curry to have that melt into the squash. 
you want to fuse them. It's a layering process. The whole thing is a layering process. Now I'm going to add the habanero pepper in there and the oregano. Cover it for a few minutes. Let some of that heat cook through the potato and the kabasha squash. So you want to keep this moving so that everything can cook evenly. Now we're going to add the bell peppers and the onions. And a little bit of garlic salt. A little bit more curry. To cover up the onions and the bell pepper. Like I said, it's a layering process. And we're gonna mix that all in. As you can see, it's turning a beautiful, beautiful yellow. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt.
Now we're gonna add the cilantro. Oh, the aromas. Let that sizzle down for about a minute. Now we're going to add two cans of coconut milk. Give it a nice little stir. As you can see that beautiful yellow curry flavor, beautiful yellow curry coming. Nice stir. I'm gonna add some more curry to flavor up that coconut milk. So this is all to your taste and all to your preference. This is a meal that I've cooked a million times before. So I know exactly what to go in at what point. So we got that beautiful habanero pepper just sitting right there, whole habanero, just to give it the flavor. All right. So now, I'm gonna add some thyme. Couple of bay leaves. pinch of turmeric to give it a, a deeper color and the nutritional benefits. And now we're gonna put it on all the way on low. Cover the pot and let it simmer.
a little bit of cumin. This is just to enhance the flavor of the curry. And that's it. All right guys, so this curry is done. And you know when it's done, when the potatoes are nice and soft, and the squash is nice and soft. So you gauge it off of that. So I let it simmer on low for one hour and this is perfectly uh, cooked down to perfection. All right, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.